All right, guys, a great, great day in the Mensch's life happened this week when I finally got these beautiful 8138 Mactos from Red Wing Heritage. Let's take a deeper look. So many, many years ago, many moons ago, I should say, um, I posted my first ever Red Wing purchase, which from Brooks Brothers actually, I got for 180 bucks some blacksmiths in briar oil slick leather, and it's like a nice burgundy reddish leather, it's this one, spoiler alert, and uh, so I, I really liked him, but I wanted the Iron Rangers also at that time, and so I ended up giving those back and buying the Iron Rangers, but ever since then, I really, the, the, the leather that I wanted the most um, was that briar slick oil, it was so beautiful, so I didn't really want the, the blacksmiths as I have those in the Copper Off and Tough. So I wanted Mactos first of all because they're so iconic, and so I really did want the Briar Slick Oil Mactos. And sure enough, at the end of August, I was in Norsham Rack, of course, searching for Red Wings, and I found them. I found these exact boot, and I, I think I put up a story, a poll, on Instagram, and you guys said like 50% of you guys said don't buy them, and they were 130 bucks, and so I didn't buy them. And of course, I regretted it ever since that day. I was regretting it, and so I, I couldn't find them anyway. I remember looking on Mr. Porter; they were at 1.196, but they didn't have them in my size. Just went through a whole ordeal. I actually asked Nordstrom Rack, I mean Nordstrom, to to price match it from Mr. Porter, and they said no, which is very annoying, but totally understandable. And you know, I do, the truth is, I do recommend if you guys have the money, go spend it um, from Nord Red Wing directly because you are supporting a, a USA business, and I do really recommend that and giving them 100% of the money because of course they do split it with Nordstrom, but that's just a little side thing. Of course, I'm very short on cash, so I do try to get them for good deals. Anyways, last week I was on eBay searching, of course, for the 8138s and a light from heaven shined down on my computer. And of course, I, I found them some guy in Texas. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. He put them up factory first. They weren't even factory second, so it's a good thing I didn't buy those at Nordstrom Rack that time. He put these up for 110. He said he tried them on once. Of course, you can see they're, they're really new, practically new. Um, and he put them up for 110, but $15 shipping. So they came to $125 total. Probably the best deal I'm ever gonna find on a Red Wing boot that's not a factory second. So just super thrilled with it. Took me approximately 30 seconds to hit the buy it now button, and so I got them last week, and I've been loving them ever since. So let's just highlight some certain points. I did a review already on the on the copper on the concrete rough and tufts, so I'm just going to highlight some major points. One is that um, I really recommend this leather first of all, not only because it's so beautiful to look at, but because it's very malleable and very mushy and very very comfortable right out the box. It's because it's very oily. It's, it's a lot like that that rough and tough leather. Um, it's it's going to repel sweat and repel water. It's, of course, don't wear them in the rain, but they do require very little maintenance, and I think that's something that's really nice in a in a first heritage boot for someone. And they're just very comfortable. Require no break-in, especially around the ankles. It just conforms to your to your shape of your foot, um, or, or at least to, to the legs and your joints, very very quickly. Of course, the leather insole that's that's a hard piece of leather that's covering um, that that cork. That's going to take months and months, if, if not years, to, to actually break in fully. So that, of course, is going to still take a lot of time and may be uncomfortable for someone who's new to boots. I will say, though, that segueing perfectly from that is that because it's got that height in there and it's got a lot of room in the toe box, you can really fit in any sort of um, athletic insole that you might want to put in, especially if you have an orthotic and you have some problems with your feet. You can fit them really easily into this mock toe design. So I do recommend... Um, these for, for someone who needs an orthotic too. Quickly, just uh, remember addressing that wedge sole. I'm gonna see how it wears, but to me it's just like that Christie sole. It's just made of this like kind of foamed rubber compound. I'm not exactly sure how they make it, but to me it's got that soft landing. It's People don't hear you stomping around like they do with the Iron Rangers. So again, that's another big plus to this sole. And of course, it adds a little bit of height for a short dudes too, which I like. As far as the Mokto design, you can see the stitching is beautiful. No loose threads or anything. It's got this high quality waxed uh, finish on the thread. And it, I, I like to call it the alligator. To me, it reminds me of an alligator smiling. So I do love that mock toe finish. Um, very, very casual and very rugged. These are, of course, going to be only for casual use, unlike the Iron Rangers and maybe the, black, uh, the Blacksmiths or the Beckmans. These are really just for those chunky jeans, those big cuffed jeans that you might wear. So if you did see that last video with the concrete rough and tufts, I love those two, super versatile and just an amazing boot. But I'm gonna, of course, keep these. And why? One is, of course, the price. Those were 173 and these were 125 total. So I, I gotta just save the 50 bucks and bite the bullet and keep these. Um, although I'm sure in, at some point in the future I'm gonna be regretting giving them back. But right now, gotta be a little bit budget conscious and just keep these and hold on to these. But the other reason is because I just love this red leather. And if you see 555 Gear, I follow him on YouTube, search him up. 
He um, has a pair of these that he's been wearing like crazy. The, the sole is practically uh, depleted already, totally gone. And they're, they're so red, like he, he has just worn the heck out of them. They've patina, beyond patina, they're like dried out. But I just love how they age, and especially this leather. So I'm very, very excited to just really put a ton of miles into these. And again, that's the point of uh, Heritage boots in general, it's just they get better with age. And I think that's just something that's very refreshing to especially me as a younger person, just buying something that's built to last. So, um, oh yeah, also if you're wondering, I put on these black rock burgundy laces that go perfectly, perfectly with this exact boot. So definitely check out Blackrock Leather um, for laces if that's what you're into. So again, that's gonna finish it off for today, guys. I'm, I'm hopefully gonna keep adding to the Redmond collection, but definitely check out the 8138 Mock Toes, a beautiful, beautiful boot. And subscribe, stay tuned, follow me on Instagram.